This is a story in 1980 on the Sunset Strip where we deal with a whole lot of different people from different walks of life in the world of rock and roll. The focus was losing yourself in music and rock and roll and sex and drugs for some murder. That's right, folks, another day, another corpse. Los Angeles during that time was the serial killer capital of the world. Unsolved murders. Our guy's done this before. Ed Westwick plays Kent, the serial killer. We are introduced to this world. I'm working on a story. What's the story? All this. Uses young girls' ambitions to lure them into his trap. I was you once. People helped me out, so kill me. I like giving back. All right. And then he kills him. It was a very loud era. The problem with loudness is that some very dark, nefarious creatures can easily move behind the sound. I'd like to make a dedication. During the course of our pilot, he meets a young woman named Betty. Everybody's looking for love, right? I mean, that's the Sunset Strip, except me for whom I am. You see what I'm seeing? That's so true. They form this unusual connection, because underneath it all, she's a sociopath, too. Do you like kids? I absolutely love children. The juxtaposition between these two characters who are able to show love, not only to each other, but to young children. Hey, Mary. Hi. Your lifesaver, Kent. And then on the other side of that, they couldn't be more devious and couldn't be darker. And together, they form this kind of Bonnie and Clyde-like serial killer duo. What makes this show different is that we give equal time to the cops and their families and equal time to the killers that are working the strip. We follow an ensemble cast of characters as this serial killer is drawing everybody into his world. It really looks at the glamour of it all, and then it turns it around and looks at what's underneath, the darkness beneath. It's balancing that dark subject matter with enough of the glitz and enough of the fun that was going on at the time. It's rock and roll, it's frightening, it's emotional, it's really sexy. I think this show is a really bold show for ABC to make. They're really taking a chance, a risk, and it's very exciting to be a part of that. I've never done anything like that. This is just the beginning. <laughs>